it's my last day of summer. Let's make the most of it. No! What are they? Cybermen. Oh man. Cybermen. Would be appropriate at this point. Lumic, you fool! Like you idiot! What are you You're doing? going by too fast. Let's go outside. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Okay, let's go. Pops. Hello. Pops, I'm going out. I'm getting out of here. I only got a few hours of freedom left. You woke me up, fool. I woke you up? Yeah, get out. Oh, you're having a nap time, huh? Yeah. <laughs> okay, leave me alone. <sighs> kitty! Come here, kitty! Come here, kitty! Why is your hunger my problem, kitty? Come here! Come. <laughs> are you trying to get... The... What are you doing? Come here! I have to get out of the house anyway because I need to go get some... Uh... <sighs> I need to go get stuff from Safeway so that I can make my lunches. We're back again. Oh. My last few hours, I don't know how exciting this video is going to be for anybody, but hey, it don't matter. <laughs> it really don't matter. First of all, it's really weird that we're going back to school on a Wednesday, okay? It's Tuesday right now. It's This is the day of that I'm filming this. And hopefully I'll get my freaking butt together and edit this. But yeah, this is Tuesday. This is as real as it's gonna get, as close to like time as it's going to get for you guys. <laughs> Like, this is some, something that I'm actually doing today. Well, well, well. Look who's back in my car. <laughs> oh boy. Driving and filming again. Very not safe, very illegal. 
hey, we're here for it, right guys? <laughs> I've been watching, and don't judge me on this, but uh, recently on YouTube, I've been watching a lot of like those uh, get ready with me. Oh, it's my, my first day uh, of school. Oh, it's my first day back to, uh, as a senior in high school, my first day of sophomore in high school. So I, don't ask me how I ended up on these like teenagers channels and stuff and not even just teenagers, like college students as well. But like all these students going back to school and they're just like filming their, filming them, literally filming themselves getting ready in the morning with like maybe a five second clip of of them going to school because they're they're too shy and embarrassed to like actually pull their camera out and i'm watching all these videos right and i am really like inspired i'm motivated i'm like huh well i don't know if anybody's done this before but i want to make a um i want to make a version of that video for paraeducators like because I'm a paraeducator hey is staff we're going back to school too why can't we uh, vlog ourselves getting ready in the morning and all this stuff <laughs> so <laughs> I'm like very pretty much dead serious about it and I want to make like kind of a little spoof on it you know kind of poke fun but not it's just harmless fun that I want to do. I think that would be a really great video idea. So I think, I think I'm going to do it. Yeah. But unfortunately, you guys won't be able to see until the day after, you know, like that Thursday because, yeah. <sighs> I don't know. Or maybe you'll be able to see it like the day of uh, tomorrow, Wednesday. I, I don't know, but I'm going to make that video. <laughs> I, it's just so fascinating to me. It's just all these students, mostly females, I don't know why it, huh, but who cares. But of the, the female students, they're just, they're all putting on their makeup. Yeah, that's the first thing they do is put on their makeup and they spend like 12 to 15 minutes on their makeup and they're just talking. And I'm like, wow, that seems like a really, cool, interesting, like low-key kind of video, you know? Minimal editing. I think that's great. My problem is <laughs> I don't wear makeup. We we all saw how that went last time. That's not the end of that series, first of all. I am planning on going back to <laughs> that makeup video idea because I do genuinely want to get better. I It wouldn't I'm not gonna be a makeup girl. I'm I'm never gonna be a makeup girl. That uh, yeah. I just missed the mark with that. I don't know. Let me see. Is this too loud? Having the windows open. It's hot. It's hot everywhere, isn't it, guys? Why are we not going? We've got construction. Gumming up traffic. Well, actually, it's just stupid drivers. Come on, guys. Go 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 go. It does feel nice to get out of the house. It it is nice. Because I don't know if you guys realize this about me. Maybe you do from <laughs> the setting of uh, practically all of my videos. But I am a homebody. I, I am, I would like to classify myself as an introvert. I, yeah, yeah, I do like to stay home. Whenever I have the opportunity of staying home away from people, not giving any energy or devoting any energy towards other human beings, I would prefer to stay home. Yes. And I think that that makes me an introvert to some extent, you know? Yeah. And I'm proud of it. You know, I like it. I like having, I like having time by myself and being in my own world and just being crazy and weird. That being said, it is good also to get out and get some fresh air and some sunshine, okay? Or else you will go literally stir crazy and end up, I don't know, killing things in your house. Like, 
if you have plants and those plants are dead you know you slowly start killing I don't know what I'm talking about <laughs> oh my gosh I'm really inspired by all of those like vlogging channels that I've been watching can you guys tell huh? I mean people are just oh my gosh I'm on the freeway holding up a camera why are you going so slow sir this is the freeway! I know that some people who regularly watch uh, my videos are going to be thrown off by the vibe in this one. <laughs> it's just, it's a lot of talking. Some might think that it's rambling or ranting, but I'm, I'm just literally talking. I'm being real right now. As if you were really hanging out with me. But I don't, I don't mind it, man. I don't mind making different kinds of videos. And I, honestly, it's really not appealing to me to put myself in a box, if that makes sense. Oh, good. A red light. <laughs> I can actually back up. I don't want to put myself in a box and just make the same kind of video, you know? Like, yes, at the heart of my channel is music and the ukulele. That's the driving force um, of my channel. And that's what motivates me. And that's what keeps me going, keeps me creating on, on YouTube. But besides that, that doesn't mean that that's the only thing I have to make. That I, I, now that I've been making like a hundred or so ukulele videos that it only has to be ukulele and that's it. I don't want to do that. That is just so not appealing to me because we are all different. We are, we are human beings. We're, we're not robots. We're not meant to do the same thing, nor do we want to do the same thing over and over and over again. I'm sorry. I'm talking YouTube stuff now, but if you notice, I guess you don't notice, but for those of you that do notice, a lot of YouTube creators, if that's what you want to call us, our content creators, they like to take a lot of breaks, you know, um, they, they don't upload videos in like months or maybe years. And finally one day they'll, they'll come back and say, oh, I'm feeling refreshed. I was feeling a little burnt out on YouTube and this and that. And the reason why they're burnt out is because they put themselves in a freaking box and are thinking, telling themselves that they have to make the same kind of video over and over and over again instead of just doing what they want to do. Because there is a fear. There's a fear that once you make so many so many subscribers on YouTube that that's all those subscribers are expecting is okay I subscribe to this person because they only make YouTube uh, ukulele videos or I subscribe to this person because they only make gaming content and that's why I subscribe to them and I expect them to make that every single time no <laughs> I say all that to say that I am not that kind of channel. Yes, I am aware of the fact that that's the game that you have to play on YouTube is if you want to be picked up by the YouTube algorithm and you want to be discovered and bring in all these subscribers, which I'm not, then you have to make the same kind of content, you know? You have to make the uh, consistent style of content. And I don't want to do that. Because to be honest, I don't want hundreds and thousands and millions of subscribers. Do you realize how freaking stressful that may be? That, that seems so crazy to me. Like, I would be so worried about my videos. I'd be so worried about how I looked. I'd be so worried about what I say. I'd be so worried about this and that for fear of offending somebody. That's way too much pressure, man. I love being an underdog. We're here. We're at Safeway. <laughs> I really like listening to the Bollywood station. 
the music is so beautiful and they use different uh I can't remember the name of it but they the the different pitches and stuff is just so intriguing to me it's it's great you guys gotta listen to some Bollywood music listen listen Isn't that beautiful? I don't know what he's saying. Okay guys, wait, hold on. I need to show you this. So, you guys don't know this, but I joined Weight Watchers, right? I joined it about maybe three, three and a half months ago now. And so, they have this feature on the, uh, on the app, right, on your phone, where you can scan the barcodes of different items and it'll show you how many points they're worth. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but I'm over here in the popcorn raid and I just discovered that this right here, the pop secret movie theater popcorn, when you scan the box, you know it's six points for one bag of these. An entire bag is six points. And I was like, that can't be. That's not possible. It must be a typo. But I went to scan like the barcode on this one, the homestyle butter. It's like three, it's three points for like two to three ounces or something like that. So you're like, you're using up more points. And I can't understand what the, what the difference is because it's popcorn. I can't get it. Even this, I was like, okay, this one might be different because you have to, you have to pop it, right? It's not in the bag, but I don't get it. I don't get it. This one, you're using up more points too. So that's very interesting. But that's so weird about the popcorn. I don't know. But anyway, I grabbed that uh, movie, movie theater popcorn. Six points for a whole bag? Yes, please. Hello, Olaf. We's back. Oh my gosh. Speaking of Weight Watchers, I think... Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Poor camera. <laughs> Speaking of Weight Watchers, I think that I have just enough points to uh, treat myself and get some In-N-Out. It's been a long time since I had In-N-Out, so I'm probably going to go do that. <laughs> it was... Wait, hold on. Let me put you guys down. But, you know, I had quite a few people uh, staring at me <laughs> in the Safeway, and I can't blame them. You know, some weird girl with a camera, like, filming herself walking around. What is up with that? Especially when I was talking to you guys about the popcorn. <laughs> there was this man, legit was standing at the end of the aisle staring right at me. Do people do people just forget that we have peripherals? There are peripherals and we can see who's on the side of me. But he's just standing there like watching me like like yeah, I was on the TV and I was fine with it because I obviously kept talking. But <laughs> it's really interesting. Like for those of you that are trying to get a little more brave with vlogging and stuff and uh vlogging out in public with other people my advice to you is to just do it just do it because no matter what you do people are always going to stare at you even if you don't have a camera in your hand 
people are still looking at you. That's what we do. We just look. So just bring your camera out. Be very mindful, you know, of be mindful of others. Uh, don't intentionally stick your camera in their face and just go about your business and keep talking because you got to remember your your ultimate goal is you're trying to get this footage for your video. That's my only advice to uh, you aspiring vloggers out there. Just do it. <laughs> just do it. It's going to be awkward. It's going to be uncomfortable, but just do it. Own it, man. And especially do it when you're by yourself. Don't rely so much on uh, being amongst your peers and your friends and stuff because that doesn't set you up for realistic success with vlogging. I love ranting. This is great. Okay, let's go to in and out Okay, hold on. How many points do I have for the day? Let's see, 17 is my daily and my weekly is 32. I don't care, man. I'm willing to, like, waste all my weekly points today. Um, isn't that a cute little car? I love it. Just like me and Olaf. If I'm gonna film in the car, I need to find a better way to, like, mount the camera because right now it's just on my dash on the tripod just free free so whenever i step on the gas it's just it's gonna fly everywhere oh my gosh and i don't want that to happen oh i'm feeling super hungry right now now the main thing that they teach you in uh weight watchers is the difference between uh, internal and external hunger. Now, obviously internal hunger is when you're really, when you're physically hungry and you can tell that by your body's responses, either um, your body indicating that it's hungry by growling or um, you feel like your blood sugar is low or, you know, it's, it, in my case, it's difficult to, form uh, sentences and speak in a way that people can understand me. It's, it's very difficult for me to, to talk and think when I'm hungry, like right now. <laughs> um, as opposed to external hunger, that is the kind of hunger where you, you think you're hungry, but you're not. And that's the kind of hunger that Weight Watchers wants you to work on um, recognizing because if you're feeling external hunger, that's just your brain telling you that it wants to eat. That's your brain saying that, oh, you're, you, you, let's eat, you know, let's, let's snack on this, let's snack on this and that, even though you've already eaten something, even though you're not hungry. And that's what causes like that that uh, I can't remember what it was called, but it was some kind of like unconscious eating, you know, and, and eating and snacking when you're bored. It's, it's a, a very psychological actually, like joining Weight Watchers. You guys should, well, I would, <laughs> I was gonna tell you guys to do research about it, but it, yeah, you learn all that stuff when once you join the program and you like sit in on a couple um, meetings, Weight Watchers meetings, where you just sit down with other people who are also a part of the program, and uh, yeah, you talk about your your struggles and something that you had success with and something that you still need to work on. <laughs> I went to one of those meetings, just one, and I haven't. <laughs> I haven't been back because personally the meetings are not for me and the whole reason why I got into Weight Watchers in the first place was because of my mom she started Weight Watchers first like years ago before they had the app and everything and all this fancy stuff they do now uh, back when she joined Weight Watchers they gave you a book that was like a little mini Bible and it was thick too of all the different restaurants you know and all the different food items and how many points each item is all the fruits and vegetables and all that stuff it yeah <laughs> and uh, they don't do that anymore they they don't give you a book form um, everything's just on the app and I'm very grateful for that I love it 
but what I'm feeling right now is internal hunger. I am hungry. I haven't eaten since, uh, what, 8.30, 9 o'clock? Yeah, and that's my fault. You don't, that's the whole point of Weight Watchers is to not, you, it's not about starving yourself. It's not about, it's not about, you know, holding out from, from, from eating for a certain period of time. It's not about that. Weight Watchers is simply just, it teaches you what to eat. It teaches you better options. Yeah. <laughs> But obviously, I'm making the best option right here. Give me some in and out. <laughs> and I do like how they they allow you a um, so like you you saw on on my you saw on that previous clip with oh my gosh, come on Olivia, form, form your thought. You saw on the previous clip I showed you guys um, a little snippet of the app. Now. They have daily points, and those are points that I can use throughout my entire day. I usually have 29. And then uh, there are also a collection of points that you can use. Those are your budget points. Um, and you can use those for whatever you like. Whatever you like. So on those days when you want to cheat or want to, you know, get some junk food, you can. You know, because it's okay to eat junk food you know it's just not okay to eat it every day <laughs> but as a treat yeah a treat is fine and I love that I love that about Weight Watchers my goodness Hi, good, how are you? Good. Uh, can I get a number one with no onions uh, and french fries? And no drink though. Just a burger and fries to Yeah, a burger and fries to go. To go? Yeah. It'll be $7.97 first one down. Thank you. <laughs> oh, Krispy Kreme is getting a little facelift. Look at that. It's about time. Oh no, it's happening. Oh, 8.35, huh? Oh my goodness. I am dead set on breaking this camera lens. My goodness. Stick with me, little buddy. Uh. Hi, good, how are you? Good, thanks for asking. So you just have a double, double, no onion, no more fries? Yeah. $7.97, please? Sorry. Thank you. And we're here. Come kick off your shoes with me, guys. Oh, my gosh. Let's relax. Enjoy our final hours of summer here. I don't know if I've shown you guys this place before. This is Lake Merced. And I was able to find a spot where we could get just a smidge of the lake. It's not the entire thing, but yeah. This entire lake is 10 miles, I think five miles it's five or ten miles all the way around and it loops around towards um sf state and stonestown and over there and then it comes all the way back here um you guys don't know where here is but yeah it's just a big circle since i'm getting back in the uh getting back in the swing of things of being a lone wolf and being by myself um Especially this school year because Oni, she found another job. Bless you, Oni. You are so fortunate. <laughs> she did it. She got out. She was like, nah, I can't be a para anymore. It's too much work. I don't blame her. Yeah, it, it takes a lot out of you. But it is so rewarding working with the students, though. But other than that, now that she's gone, uh, I'm back to being by myself, which I'm accustomed to, really. I'm used to it. I kind of prepared for it. Got me a little double-double with a side of french fries. No drink, though, because drinks are like seven points and I ran out of points. <laughs> this, this burger right here is 22 points. 22. 
So, hopefully you guys uh, have a better understanding of uh, what is a treat and what is not. This is definitely a treat. First bite, guys. <gasps> Part of me wishes that you guys were here, like just eating with me and having a good time. But another part of me is like, thank God I'm by myself. <laughs> oh my goodness, I just realized how douchey I must look right now. <laughs> Everybody's out here getting their exercise, making their rounds around Lake Merced and I'm sitting here with <laughs> in and out burger and fries eating in their faces and people are looking in it is 4 51 I'm gonna have to go like really soon I need to get home I need to put this chicken that I bought in the oven get it going oh, I need to make my dinners and edit not my dinners I have to make my lunches which might as well be my dinners Is that mom? Oh no. Well, oh, that's not <laughs> home. <laughs> hey, thanks for hanging out with me today, guys. Oh my gosh, this bag is really heavy. <laughs> okay, hold on. Uh. Oh, yeah. For those of you that clicked on this video and watched it, I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> I know. Oh my gosh. The style and consistency of my videos are lacking. But, you know, I like to keep you guys on your toes and myself too. As I said earlier in the video, I don't like doing the same thing over and over again. Okay, we gotta stop. I just thought about it and I decided not to prep lunches for tomorrow. I still have leftover uh, homemade Chinese food that I made that I can, I can just eat that tomorrow. Tomorrow's the first day. Thanks again guys for hanging out with me and staying till the end of this video. If you did stay or even if you watched a portion of it, thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, I'm gonna go now. It is, what time? It is 5.30. I have exactly, what, maybe an hour and... 10 to 15 minutes to get this edited and uploaded for you guys today <laughs> today right now so i'm gonna go do that i gotta go and i'll see you guys in the next video the next video will indeed be a get ready with me uh first day of school uh but teacher edition or para educator edition paras teachers we're all teachers so yeah that's gonna be on thursday <laughs> well Bye-bye. I gotta go. Oh, I need the camera because I need the footage off of the camera. Oh my gosh. Okay, bye. <laughs>